Uh, guys and gals, Mr. Greg will gain us now. We'll start this thing off. Uh, uh, either a movie or TV or series or a play as his favorite ending of all time. And then Mr. Keach uh, will follow suit as well. Mr. Loganis, are you ready to go? Good, sir. Sure. I might, the, the, the classic, uh, I, I would have to say it's, it's a wonderful life. Um, and especially, you know, during the season and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. So it's a wonderful life. Um, but contemporary, I have to say sing too. I loved that ending. It just focused on uh, Rosita getting the courage to jump off that platform and Clay Calloway coming uh, coming in and gaining the courage. It's all about courage, gaining the courage to sing uh, in front of the audience once he hears the audience singing his legendary song. So I, I, I thought that was, I mean, it brought tears to my eyes. So. No, it was. It was actually very emotional. Uh, when's the last time you've seen it? Do you know? Around it's a Wonderful Life. Uh, it, well, I, it, during Christmas, uh, you know, sure. it, just last week. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, it, it, let me ask you this, Greg. Are there movies that no matter what, you watch them, they pop up on cable television, they're on a streaming service, wherever they are, you're at a friend's house. And no matter what, it could be uh, maybe... Uh, maybe the story arc already has changed in the middle of the portion of the film, and you're still locked in. Are there, there, there you have those kinds of movies that no matter when you're watching, the 30-minute mark, 50-minute mark, you're right there locked in. I, I was a huge Harry Potter fan. Yeah. So I, I, I followed that series, uh, that and The Hunger Games. I love that. The, I, I mean, that. And th those I can, you know, go on, you know, re... re rewatch those time and time again. They, they kind of keep me... Uh, uh, engaged. I love that before your very first performance, when you were a kid, you had tech and dress rehearsals and you wore a little tux with a top and a cane, but your teacher knew that if you had to do the routine over and over, you'd be too fatigued to perform that night. So she put you in the studio, played the music right. and said, imagine yourself doing the routine. And even though it took about four times, it was completely fluid, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, well, that that was my instructor. I was three years old. She put the music on. Wow. She said, "Do do do the the routine fluid." Sure. And so, you know, even at three, I I could move the needle. I can, you know, redo it. So yeah, it took four times, and then I made it fluid. Funny thing is, yeah. Once I made it fluid, I went and found her. Sure. And I said, "Okay, I made it fluid." She came back into the studio, increased the tempo. Oh, so right. it was faster than what I was going to be performing. And she said, make it fluid. Ooh, yeah. And so, and I was able to do it, you know, so you took that, that tool into everything, right? Dancing, gymnastics, diving. That's how you prepare. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also, you know, to make it, you know, when you're in a performance, then yes. you have to, uh, you know, the visualization has to be at speed or faster. Sure. And and that's where I learned, because then if it's faster, you can anticipate. Makes sense. Uh, and Mr. Keach, you would agree, right, that there's yeah. a difference between, a uh, huge difference between speed, rate, pace, and tempo. There is a yes, difference there. between all four. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes. Well, uh, I'm fascinated with, with Greg's response, so I too. think that, yeah. Me too. Uh, what a great storyteller Greg is as well, Mr. Really? Mr. Keach. And, work he's done on stage is absolutely incredible and that's what we're learning guys so we're not just uh, going to be put in a box we're not just a diver or just an actor we are multifaceted and we're learning that tonight and i that speaks to me uh mr keach uh yes. please if you if you can good sir explain why you've selected blank what? as the most satisfying movie tv series or play ending of all time and why whenever you are ready good sir i will just i have two i have one uh, play ending i have for me, Hamlet is the, the the last line, or close to the last line of that play. At the end of the play, the rest, the rest is, is silence. Silent. It's a very earth-shattering expression of the end of our lives. Thank you so much, guys and gals and pals, for enjoying this video and watching it. If you love the content if you're enjoying it 
please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, and make sure that you know that we know that the new network is on the rise. Thank you for being who you are.